So you had mentioned that you have quite an extensive background in teaching uh, IT. You now have a course, uh, IT Fundamentals, and you are working towards offering another program. Can you just explain to us with those courses, you had mentioned the help desk, what kind of job would you expect to get right out of it? And kind of explain what kind of salary range you might be looking at just breaking into the industry. All right. So right now I got a free IT fundamentals course on my website slash YouTube channel. And I'm currently working on putting up course material for A plus. And then eventually I'll be putting stuff up for network plus and security plus. I'm I'm just putting all this stuff out there for free, or at least that's the plan because my goal is to try to help as many people get educated in this as cheaply as they can, because, you know, the way the world is going, it's just kind of getting that serious. With the IT fundamentals, you're probably not going to get hired with just straight in IT fundamentals cert because they just give you a bird's eye overview of IT. You don't really get into the nitty gritty details with it. I mean, it's still good to take, especially if you're wondering if IT is something that is worth it because the certification is only $123. A plus, you're going to spend grand total of about $400 because it's two separate tests. So which is more affordable? 123 or the 400 to figure out if you like IT. So I tell people start over here. And if you like IT, guess what? Everything you learned over here is going to be directly applicable to the A plus certification and everything else moving forward from there to help make the transition easier for you. But let's just say you got your A plus, your net plus, your IT fundamentals, your security plus. And now it's time for you to go out there and get a job. And you want to work at help desk. You're probably doing like what they call tier one, tier two stuff. You know, just doing all the basic grunt work, running around, fixing printers, fixing basic computer problems answering phones, you'll probably end up starting off around $15 to $20 an hour. Like That's just like the national starting salary within that range for somebody brand new entering IT. So that translates to about about $30,000, $35,000 a year. And I know that's not a lot of money, but here's what normally tends to happen depending upon how much you like IT, how much effort you're willing to put into it so that you can excel. Within about 18 to 24 months, there's a possibility you can double your income going from $15 an hour to about $30 an hour. And I've seen it done numerous times with various individuals over the year with about 18 to 24 months. Like I just said, it went from $15 to about $30 an hour. And then with about five to 10 years, I've seen this done countless times as well. I've seen a lot of people creep up to the six figure mark within about five to 10 years. Like I said, my youngest brother, he uh, works in IT. He does cybersecurity. He makes about 90000 a year. No college degree, just you know, a couple certs here and there. He's been doing IT for about seven years. So he's in that five to 10 year window. And he started off doing basic help desk style stuff. So it's highly possible to double your salary and then creep your way up to the six figure mark within about five to 10 years, depending upon how specialized and dedicated you want to get with this profession. So what you're saying is that you start out with those uh, certifications and you work your way up. You might need to take a few other courses and get certified for that, but that's how you work your way through throughout the system. Yeah. Yeah. So like I say, the certs that I talk about, IT fundamentals, A+, Net+, Security+, Plus. I personally, the most IT professionals consider those entry-level search. These, this is just the base. And after that, depending upon what path in IT you want to go, is going to dictate what type of certifications that you're going to need to get. And like I said, you go back and look at the job postings on Indeed, they'll tell you this stuff in the job description. You're going to need a CCNA. You're going to need penetration tester. You're going to need this. You're going to need that. And if this is the type of job you want to get, then you know, you're going to have to go out there and get those certifications. 